the farmers can't control the, qual the high quality. This is why I heard you can trace like the milk from a particular cow if there's something that goes wrong. Is that, is it that uh, Yeah, Yeah, and that, that's specific. one of the things also which makes us unique. And, and we dare to say that uh, actually we can trace it back, and, uh, and we can. And uh, we dare to say if you buy a other food product, within four hours I can actually tell you which cow it came from. That's not really, really true. Uh, the truth lies in we can trace it the whole way back to the farm within four hours, no matter which product uh, That's amazing. you will buy. Here. So can you tell us um, about the partnership that your company has forged with Carla and, and what Filipinos think about Yeah, Amanda, um, we see in the Scandinavia Arla partnership a winning formula. It's a winning formula for the Filipino consumer. Um, Scan Asia, which by the way is a portmanteau of two words, Scandinavia and Asia. That's how it was started, Scan Asia. Uh, started 30 years ago, actually it traces roots all the way back to Denmark. Um, with Arla, incidentally, as our very, very first uh, partner, we, Scan Asia is committed to make available to the Filipino consumer the world's best, only the world's best. And uh, as we are part of the to-go group, we are able to leverage on the to-go's uh, wide and extensive infrastructure for logistics and supply chain. We are really excited to make available the world-class products which Arla produces. And at the end of the day, uh, we are able to enrich lives of the Filipinos, and uh, we, we are really looking forward to, uh, to this partnership, and we're very excited about it. So, obviously, you think the, that their mission to introduce all natural goodness into the Filipino household is going to be very successful? Absolutely. Um, we, we believe that uh, the Filipinos are really looking forward to products like this. Um, not just really the best products, but they, they really are to the, to the likes and the tastes of Filipinos as well. Uh, our, our team has worked very closely with Arla, and we know that the, the company is, is really the kind of brand maker that we would like to partner with. The fit is really there. Our team, by the way, visited the uh, Arla plant back in Denmark uh, not so long ago. And uh, the team was really impressed, not just with the facilities, some of which you've seen here, but I think most importantly was the passion of the of Team Arla for building the relationships with farmers. Uh, I mean, that, that kind of uh, commitment and passion for relationships fits very well with us. And a product like this, very relevant, is definitely something which uh, would add value to our consumers. And I think Filipinos are very ready for Absolutely. all natural goodness now. Um, everyone's getting more aware and, and ready for it in their households. Okay, I just wanted to ask though, so why did you choose the Philippines out of uh, Southeast Asia for, for the launch of um, Arla and these products? Yeah, I, I think the essence in, in the, uh, and the answer to that question is actually Filipinos love. Uh, I think what, what's actually changing now is Filipinos love food, but there is a trend that's going in the direction Filipinos want to eat the right food. So actually Filipinos are starting up looking at what's actually in my product. How it is produced, is it safe, can I trace it back, is it made out of uh, people that is not just looking for easy profit, uh, can I trust it, and of course it has to be tasty and it has to be healthy. And I think that's. That's where natural goodness and other food products and the way we're doing uh, business, the whole way through our system, fits extremely well with the trend that's going up into the Philippines now. And uh, I, I just feel that Philippines is, for other foods, is the right place to be at the right time. And, and I think that's about timing. I think if we have entered and engaged with this for five, ten years ago, I'm not sure that you create a success. My stomach feeling and everything tells me that we are on the right spot, the right time, with the right amount of products, and the people 
our Philippines will enjoy uh, the whole value chain of our foods that we offer. So it's not only just about the product. I think it's it's more than that that Filipinos are, are looking for now, and we we hope we can offer. So on that note, um, tell us why are there only three to four ingredients in your products? Do there need to be more? <laughs> exactly. I, I, don't I, uh, I, I don't think there need to be more. I don't think there need to be more. But of course, make it simple is not the easy thing. You know, you, it's easy to add a lot of uh, artificial flavoring, coloring, and uh, you name it. But make it natural. Make it with the, the, the best way possible. That actually demands a lot of innovation. And we have put a lot of effort, and actually the farmers have invested a lot of money in creating the innovation that actually allows us to, to deliver green cheeses that can actually be transported the whole way from Denmark to Philippines and still be 100% natural. But it, it is actually all about just keep maintaining what is real, what is natural, what is simple. But saying it's easy, that's not easy. It's easy to add a lot of stuff. Removing it, that's where it becomes difficult. And that's where we believe we have our one step ahead. A bench. Yes, hopefully. <laughs>
the best thing for you. So thank you so much, Stephanie. Now, Chris, as a fitness and health expert, would you recommend the dairy of Arla to, uh, to Filipinos? Yeah, what, how, how is everyone, by the way? Are you well? Have you had a chance to sample some food yet? Yes. <laughs> I think I got here really early. That's the best thing. I came here nice and early, and I got over and I had to taste some cream cheese, and some that milk, and then I went over and I had some milk and I had some cheese. You should try it. Now, yeah. Which, anyway, one, which one was your favorite? I, 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 <laughs> so getting back to the point, you got to acknowledge everyone. Yeah. No, I was going to ask which one was your favorite. My your, favorite? I think you you got here early enough. I got here early. I love cheese. I'm a cheese lover as well. I love pizza. I love cheese on toast, so that was my favorite. But actually, the surprising thing is the cream cheese. If you can try that, the herbs and the spice one, it's really cool. And also, just the natural one. If you like a nice creamy taste, go over and taste it. It's awesome. Get there quick, though, because I think it's going to run out soon. Um, so in terms of recommending, like, it's hard to stand next to a brand when you're a dietitian or a personal trainer or that sort of stuff. And, um, you know, tell something because you've got to be very objective about it but when when I had a chance to talk to Yans one-on-one and uh, Karina before and even Paula that you can listen to the story about I know it sounds a bit cheesy a bit cliche but going back um, going back to the land the environment this is where health goes right it starts at the land it starts with the soil it starts with the animals and if they're treated right if they're working uh, well and they're happy with what they're doing uh, they're going to produce the best uh, materials for us, and in this case, it's dairy products. And um, when you listen to this story about, um, it's about the farmers, right? It's very important because in business, as a businessman, there's two types of businesses. There's businesses for people, and there's businesses for stockholders and profits. And you have to understand the difference between those. And then the, ph the philosophy that they have here about the farmers first, and about putting those first over profits, it really drives the business in a different direction. So you can understand how their practices there are now. Okay? It's a different philosophy from other companies. They look after the cows, uh, they look after the land, and um, that reflects in the quality of the product as well. So, uh, long story short, yes, recommend it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. No, but I love that point that you, that you brought up about about companies taking care of uh, their own and it's not just profit related and at the end of the day you as a, as a health professional are putting standing behind our love which uh, means a lot considering what you just said okay thank you and now we move on to Marco he answered my question uh, he said a lot basically all right now um, we know how much you value the traceability of food being a mushroom pharma farmer. So what do you think that Arla brings to the table in your opinion? Well, you know, before talking about the farming, I think really for me, having tried the products, not just today, but I've cooked with it, I've used it at home. I mean, I love the simple, natural goodness. I mean, it's very different to taste something and say, you can actually say this is natural just by tasting it, right? So I mean, it starts with that, but then, the story of like where it comes from, which everyone's pretty much talked about, is something that really excites me. Sorry, man. Right? I know, no, no, it's it's true. But I mean, the thing about I'm a I'm a big advocate of like farming in general because I've had my family's been in farming, I've experienced farming, and we have in, in the Philippines it, it becomes you know a bit of a problem because not too many people are going back into farming. So hearing the story of how actually so many farmers banded together in Europe to come up with a superior product. You know, they believe in where their food comes from, how they treat their cows, about their businesses. It's a fantastic story. And I'm, I'm so, I mean, the, the, the community of farmers keeps growing. And that's something that's important for me. And I hope that here in the Philippines, we can actually, you know, take that as an example. Um, but one important thing about traceability is knowing not just know why is it important to know where your food comes from is one you're supporting the farmers but two you can really find out how safe and how good your food is like for a mother you you know you know you're you're given so many choices in the market to be able to look at one brand and go aha I'm safe here and to trust the brand and to trust is, it is so important is very important so that yes.